Hi everybody, uh, this is Mr. Van, live from my second bedroom. Um, putting together a quick video to just talk about what the uh, health in the physical and health education curriculum will look like over the next couple, well I guess three years actually, um, with a bit more emphasis on what we're doing this year. So um, PE now is, is physical health education, changed about four years ago, uh, three years ago, I guess, in the 2018 curriculum update. And it's given a great opportunity to do things that many of us were already doing in PE classrooms where we were coming in and talking about these topics. And now it's embedded into the course, which is really exciting. And it also means that in addition to the work I do, we also have great opportunities being created by our PE department teachers. Um, so what does it look like? Just uh, to give you a quick rundown. Basically, I go into the classes uh, three times in grade eight, nine, and 10. Um, if you have semester one PE, then of course I'm doing that half. And if you have second semester PE, then I'll be coming in between February and June. Um, I try to generally keep the same order um, and then and, and it gets filled nicely with what the PE teachers do. So my big three that I go into the, all the PE classes for are number one, uh, and this is one that with the semester one classes I'm just finishing right now actually, is around mental health, um, understanding our brains, which is massive to being able to manage yourself and your stresses through high school, uh, self-care, and then a bit of an annual tradition at the end, um, writing a grade eight letter to myself that I'll give to the students at graduation. Um, not specifically mental health, but just kind of a fun tradition the school does. So that's the first one. Uh, and I always like to do that one first because I think the mental health piece is just so important for these guys uh, and for all of us. Um, and then the second one that I go into classes for, and if we're lucky, we get to do this with Kelly from our uh, SASE program. Uh, brilliant. Um, and Kelly and I go into the classes and we talk about decision making, um, specifically as it relates to substances, so drugs, alcohol and such, but also um, just decision making in general, honestly. How do we take complex situations, peer pressures, hormones and everything else and make decisions that we're comfortable with, decisions that we can live with, decisions that are going to uh, affect us and our friends and the people we care about. So just really kind of setting that up, setting that up um, you know, it's it's more of a harm reduction model than a uh, like classic don't touch sort of model. And, and we know that scientifically in the studies has been proven to be way more effective um, to teenagers and adults making better decisions. And then the third one that I do, um, we used, I used to do this with our school nurse, but it's not unavailable right now. Um, so I'm, I'll be doing it uh, solo. And that's, that's kind of healthy relationships. Um, and it's kind of a precursor to in grade nine and 10 doing more work around sexual health education. Um, so again, a little similar to number two around decision making, but much more in the realm of peers um, and in relationships. Um, and how do we how do we handle that from a perspective of great communication and respect? Those are the big two things I always push is no matter what, you need to be able to communicate where you're at. You need to be able to communicate with your partner, with your friends, um, and you need to be able to um, again, make decisions that are going to be comfortable for everybody. Um, we spend time talking about consent. Um, again, it's really not a, a judgy sort of space. And I just don't, I wouldn't, I don't think the kids would respond if it was, um, to be honest. Um, so those are the three that I do. And I kind of continue those with a bit more complexity and maturity through grade eight, nine, and 10, um, in the three years that we have PE. Um, additionally, this year, uh, Ms. Pajoli and her team um, in the PE have got uh, Blush coming in. Uh, Blush does additional work around healthy relationships. Um, it's always kind of nice to get things twice. Um, I don't know about you, but I often forget things. <laughs> so uh, nice to have both me and, and other outside organizations coming in. Um, so Blush does work around healthy relationships and they'll be coming to the PE classes as well. And then the second one that they have come in is Crime Stoppers. Um, and it does work kind of on the edges of what we do with decision making around substances but they also talk about things like theft and vandalism and how to stay out of gangs and how to um, avoid getting in trouble um, you know uh, essentially a precursor to how to how to have uh, <laughs> no problems going forward um, with police um, and so kind of poorly explained their apologies but but I, I think you probably get the idea you're probably familiar with the Crime Stoppers general model as well. Um, the, it kind of goes on the uh, hear something, say something. 
So those are what we've got in store for grade eights. And um, if you've got questions, of course, just always reach out and let me know. And um, yeah, it's great. I really, I really enjoyed the first one. I've done six of the seven classes for first semester. And I have to say some of the insights of your, your kids, um, or if you are the kid right now listening, then you um, were really impressive. It's, it's been great. So thanks so much. And uh, let me know if you have questions.